Good morning, everybody. It's Melissa. I am going to do a quick walkthrough with you guys this morning over Illustrator. And then I just want you to practice a few things and post them in the comments below after you're done doing them. Um, whenever you go to your Illustrator program and open it, depending on which version you have, this may look the same or a little bit different. So let's just go ahead and start with creating a new file. In the older Illustrator programs, I believe what pops up is just a box with these options. You want to look at this. We want to change this to inches, not centimeters or points. So make sure this is inches. This is the same as setting up your mat size and silhouette. Um, Illustrator makes really large files. So say you were making something that was 24 by 24. Instead of changing or setting this to 24 by 24, you can actually change the proportions to smaller sizes to keep your file pack smaller. And then whenever you get into silhouette, it will keep the proportions. You can stretch it out to be bigger. So if we were making something 24 by 24, we might make this, you know, 12 by 12 or 6 by 6. Um, just use your math skills to come with the lowest common denominator and go ahead and change those proportions. For today, let's set this as five and five and just hit create and you come up with this blank box. Okay, so the first thing that we want to find over here, we have the same kind of tools as you see in Silhouette. This right here is our selection tool and this is a direct selection tool and they do two different things. So let's go ahead and first type something out and we will type the word welcome and I know I just talked about the selection tools and I'll get back to that but when we type this it's really small on our mat if you do like you do in the silhouette and you just grab a corner and start stretching you'll see your word can get all wonky hit command Z to go back to how it was in Illustrator you want to make sure you're holding down the shift key while you're pulling the word to keep the proportions the same or any item that you're working with. Just make sure you're holding down shift while you're moving it around. Okay, so we have welcome. We are wanting to change our font. You can do this up here where it says character. And once again, I'm gonna hold on the shift key and pull my word. where I want it to be. Okay, so up here where the direct selection tool is, since this is all one piece, it's not going to do a whole lot right now, but in just a moment, I will show you what it does. Let's make this a capital W, and we're going to go on to our next feature. Let me minimize this. Okay, this word has just plain type, but you know Samantha has all the beautiful glyphs. A way to see them all and a really neat thing about Illustrator is you can go up here to window. This right here is your desktop space so you can put shortcuts over here that you're going to use all the time. And glyphs is one I use quite often. So go to type and glyphs. And if I put the entire font, this is normally what you're looking at and you're copying something and pasting and copying and pasting. But on Illustrator, you can actually select your letter that you want to look at neither down here it'll show you the glyphs that are available and you can just click them or you can change this box at the top to current selection and you can see all the glyphs that are available to you so that's really cool and um, it makes working with glyphs a lot faster and a lot easier so whenever we pick the glyphs that we want on our particular word let's just say we're going to do that I'm going to minimize this down a little bit. Oops, we got to make sure we're hitting shift. I hit caps lock, so it still went a little bit wonky. So we're going to do welcome. And then once everything looks exactly like you want it to be, because once you do this, you're not going to be able to change your letters anymore. You're going to right click and create outlines. This is how our machine can read it. So now you have basically, I don't know if you see these light blue lines. It's like the cut lines in the silhouette. But you see you also have where it's been unwelded. In Illustrator, this is actually called the Pathfinder. That fixes this for you. So you're going to go Window, 
and Pathfinder. And now you have your shortcut box over here. So you have your glyphs up and you have your Pathfinder box. We want to hit Unite and now it's welded together. So let's do Welcome. And then I just want to use a font. So over here, I want to add my font box too, just so I don't have to come up here every time. So I'm going to go to Window. Character under type, sorry. Okay. And I'm going to change this to desire. And let's just say that you do this and you want to thicken this up a little bit. Let's do create outlines again. In Illustrator to do offset, you're going to go object, path, offset path. This is going to be too big. Command Z always goes back. So let's go path, offset path, and do 0 0.006. And then once it does that, it's the same as silhouette where you have two lines. So what you need to do is unite these two paths together with the same thing like you weld before. And now you only have one line. Okay, so welcome to our home. And so basically now you have a file that you can use and you can send to your silhouette. So if we go file, save as, you'll have all your different op options here. You can save as a SVG and hit save, or you can export as a DXF. Once you hit export, make sure the outline text is checked and hit OK. And then when you go into select.